Things are popping, pop, a Philadelphia way. We're gonna drop it, drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. All right. Lenny, I'm gonna come back here and join you. We'll leave everybody else with it. Usually the drummer gets slighted. Since you are uh, the head man here, I will come. The mountain comes to Mohammed, or the vice versa. Would you please, starting uh, with our right, the gentleman over there, please. This is uh, Barry Sunjohn on the bass. Barry, and next to Barry is? This is Eddie Martinez on guitar. Thank you, and the lovely lady in the middle. This is Lynn Davis, a very good friend of ours. Lynn, thank you. Over here? This is Nick Morrock. All right, and on keyboard, first set of keyboards over here. This is Skip Anderson. Skip, thank you. The distinguished gentleman, he looks like from the first National Bank, except for the hairdo. Uh, with the three-piece suit, the whole deal. This is Mr. Peanut Butter, Don Blackman. <laughs> hey, Don, thank you very much. You know, uh, I, I don't know whether this is an appropriate question or not, but what does a drum rig like this cost? How much money can you pour into your instruments? Well, uh, it didn't cost me anything. If I were to go out and buy it, what would oh, it cost? Oh, okay, okay. No, no, really. Uh, I guess something like this would cost uh, somewhere near $2,000, $2,500. I'm going to step out of the way because I've asked Ralph. I've got a handheld cameraman hiding back here. Come on over here. Sneak over here with me. And uh, all right, you can, you can just duck down in there and get a look at all of this stuff. Why is this laid out the way it is? Well, I mean, it's comfortable. This is like what's known as a wraparound drum set. You know, like when you play. Get, you away, know, get over here with you. So, no, no, you stay here. When you play, you know, like you play around and like it's comfortable for me. So that's why it's set up this can way. Can any drummer sit down and play this set of drums laid out the way it is? Uh, well, I play kind of backwards. I'm left handed, but I play set up for a right handed drummer. Do you teach other people to do this? I've done clinics, yeah. Yeah. I have, yes. Would you advise everybody to, to do what you do, or is it all an individual thing? I think it's an individual thing. You know, um, I don't have a technical approach to the drums. It's just relaxing, you know. We introduced everybody around here. They have as checkered a background as you do. Everybody does everything in this business. How do you categorize this music? Does it have a name? I call it pro-pop, progressive pop music with an R&B bass. I love it, man. I'm so delighted that it's going to be great. Would you sit down and do one more? What? I don't need, I've forgotten the name. Oh, we're going to do Best of Friends. All right, that's the title song from the album, ladies and gentlemen. 29 featuring Lenny White.